for the tie. Got it! Unbelievable! Dreams to come true. As good as it gets. Virginia Commonwealth has made their last seven consecutive free throws. Duke has missed 12 on the night. Big. Nelson for the tie. Right through the defense of VCU. Went to Marcus Nelson. Are you kidding me? Ten seconds left and here we go. Maynard. Is this the dagger? Nobody deep right now. Paulus for the win. You have just seen the biggest upset in today's first round of the NCAA tournament. Down the lane, kicks it out. Mopajila on three. It's Killa! Jermaine Mopajila having the game of a lifetime. 20 points, 9 rebounds. Vermont takes a one-point lead. Oh, Vegeta doesn't want to go home. Certainly doesn't. Here's Warwick, though. Determined not to go home. Shovels it off. Mo Pajila with the steal. Bad decision. Again, he's got the ball. Kick it back outside. You know, Akeem Warwick's done a lot of wonderful things in his career, and you'd hate to see his career end on a couple of mistakes that he knows better. Now Vermont pulls it out. Fans chanting. UVM. Let me tell you once again, comes down to fundamentals. Oh! My goodness! Sorrentine hit that one from the parking lot. And Vermont has a 59-55 lead. 106 to go in OT. Now they just have to get this triangle defense to stop Iowa State inside. Rancic denied it. What a big block by Wood with the four foul. Up and in for Sam Brown. Could it happen in Boise? Iowa State by one. Inside, the big fella. Williams! Iowa State pushing, time running down. Ten Six remaining. Princeton with the basketball. UCLA two timeouts. Princeton with one. The next foul, both teams will be in the bonus. See, McCoy has come out this time. Normally, Goodrich could come and get it. You know they're going to try to run a backdoor play if they can get it. Under 10. Backdoor. Langford, the senior, hit them both. Huge free throws for Keith Langford. 63-62 Kansas. Can Bucknell pull the upset? 15 seconds left in Oklahoma City. Down low, jump shot, got it! McNaughton! Kansas inbounds, the clock under 10 at 8. At seven, pull up jumpers short. They reach for the rebound and a whistle. Foul on Kansas. Still plenty of time for Kansas. He misses 3.5. They can go. A timeout. 
The inbound, the long pass, the He's turnaround, Simeon, no! And Bucknell has pulled the upset. Valparaiso was this tiny school from Northwest Indiana. They've been in the NCAA tournament several times, but has never won a game. And they had on their team a player that really should have been playing for a bigger school. Bryce Drew was Mr. Basketball in the state of Indiana. Most expected he'd end up playing for a national power program, but Bryce Drew decided to play at Tiny Valparaiso for his dad. They have an All-American player in Bryce Drew. And the big payoff came four years later in Oklahoma City. Well, that day, it was the 13 seed Valpo, the four seed Ole Miss. Oh, look at that great play. So here is Valpo with 2.5 seconds left, 94 feet away, down by two. Now by Jamie Sykes, Carter pressuring. It's to Jenkins, the Drew for the win! Good! Oh! He did it! Bryce Drew! Falpo has won the game! A miracle! You take away the double team, or do you want to pick and roll with eBay? Washington kicked back. Carlson off the bounce, attacks! To put Northern Iowa up with 27.1. Yep, they got him. This is the second. Texas will have a chance to tie or win it with a three. Taylor attacks, floats, even at 72. 2.7 left. Last chance for the Panthers. And he said he wouldn't take a timeout in this situation. Jesperson, half court heave for the win. Jesperson does it. The Weaver State, they approach Ron, they beat him. A 34-point performance for Harold Arsenal from New Orleans. And two free throws. First is up in two. And again, Carolina with no timeouts. Arsenal again. Some, and some coaches, Kevin, love to foul in this situation. Not allow them to get a three. Here comes Owens. They need a three. He threw it away. He threw it away. Time for guys to run down the court, make the play. It would be better for Weaver State if this ball's missed. Now there's an opportunity for the home run ball. We've seen it before. Burst sticker. Intercepted. It's over. Weaver State has pulled off the biggest upset in the first day of the NCAA tournament. for some help. Curry, top of the key with a three. Gets the bounce. Big kind of day so far, hadn't it, Jim? It's just My incredible. Goodness. Well, this one right here is. Yeah, this is a. Um, so like I said, it's it's one thing, the 15 over a two. It hadn't happened in 11 years. But then you factor in that it's Duke on the losing end. And what you have here, folks, one of the all time shockers. Lehigh defeats Duke in the NCAA basketball tournament. And also Harris are able to be able to sit down oh, and knock down the shots as well. Darnell Harris hits a three. Izzo couldn't call timeout fast enough. 15-2, Middle Tennessee, the Blue Raiders. Raymond, the point guard. Looking for some room. Valentine closes out. Fouls him and it goes. And a chance at four. Jaquan Raymond. He was in there. Lack of size with Biggs taking Michigan State Biggs off the dribble. Almost a turnover. Ten on the shot clock. And it goes down. Giddy Potts. Huge shot for the Raiders. Timeout Michigan State. USA's Middle Tennessee. 
Inside, knocked away. Raymond got it. A steal. And here come Middle Tennessee, wide to the lane, give it up. Oh, shot, throw down, and the foul. Tennessee scores with 10. How about Tennessee? They're going to a zone now, and Edward says, thank you very much. Arms is doing a great job inside. I'm trying to get some looks. Klein again. That's a long two for Ryan Klein. He's hot. So here's Bowden now. And Schofield, a long three. You bet! Admiral Schofield has given Tennessee the lead. Or at least the dribble handle. Here's Klein again. Oh, has he got another one in him? Oh, you know he does! <laughs> Ryan Klein! 24 points! Agonizing for Eastern as it hangs on the rim. Turn, Williams. Oh, and a two-handed jam! Grant Williams playing with four fouls. Shot clock down to nine. Klein. Can't dribble himself free. He's going to have to take a long one. Klein, step back, three for the tie. Oh! He's done it again! A valiant comeback to force overtime. Hard fly open for a jam! And the Purdue Boilermakers out of the Big Ten, headed to the Elite Eight. 40 seconds to play, 25 on the shot clock. This afternoon, O'Quinn able to feel the air ball. It's one of two. It's a four-point game. You better hurry. Ten seconds remaining. Phil Wesley with the three. Gets it into his brother, Phil, who fires. Perhaps one of the biggest upsets in the history. 14-point lead. This match is the largest in the ball game. Bruner is five for five in this half, and the Mid Northwestern cannot buy a basket. Now the low post. They find Hanson in the paint. He can't hang on. Here comes Northwestern. Three on two. Lee. Yes. How about that run? Very unselfish, and that's his game. He'll either lead the pack, Lee, or he'll drift and be the trail guy and knock down the three. 57-49, five and a half to go. They get it to Horner. He loses it. On the floor. Picked up by Northwestern. In the corner. 4-3. Yes! That's his game. No. A chance for the lead or a tie. They go to the rim. For three, no! Loose ball in the corner. Three seconds to go. Oh, yes! oh my goodness! At the other end, Haluska off the rim. Northwestern wins! Nash, the dish, Lewis, good fake. Oh, it doesn't go. Reef done. Got it. Arizona with Stoudemire looking to find Mills. Mills is going to take a three. No rebound. Taken down by Woolery. Gets it to Nash. And he's fouled by Geary with 31 seconds to go. Steve is from Victoria, British Columbia. The assistants told us yesterday they had heard about this kid. They went to check him out. They watched him play for about 10 minutes, and they started looking around the gym going like, is anybody else here? There wasn't. And he came to Santa Clara. He needs to take a deep breath. He's going to remember this shot for the rest of his life. Put it right over the front of the rim. Missed it. Rebound, Stoudemire. Arizona's got a chance. Stoudemire. No. Tipped out. A situation where they did not have to even shoot the ball with the lead so you're gonna have to foul a good free throw shooter so Jordan who missed the chance to win it at the end of regulation so you just think of this Jim, free throws you got Jordan an 83 percent shooter Jackson an 80 percent shooter and Graves a 91 percent shooter you couldn't take the chance oh hold on a minute 
8.1 seconds remaining. Will we have a 12 seed beat a five for the 12th straight year? The Gators have no timeouts. They're down one. Oh, he misses. Still one. Gators with a chance to win it. Will Cinderella arrive? Miller in the lane, puts it up. of all shockers in the history of the tournament. Let's see how they handle this. Seven to shoot. There's Lyles going past Wilkins, putting it up, and it falls! <laughs> the kid's on fire. He is! Right there. Lyles turning the corner on the trap. Three guys on him. Concentration. I think Ryan Mabel pulled it off. Oh, Lyles spins it in! And I thought he got fouled on that play, too, as he turned the corner. And now the Retrievers have to be value the basketball, value the possession. Miles. Oh! <laughs> Can't miss! He, I'll tell you what, oh. this kid, he's hurt again. Oh, Has it stolen? What has happened to Virginia? Flustered because of this persistent performance. Corner, three more by Lamar. Every game that we saw was close. This has been just total destruction. Look at this. Exclamation. <laughs> Ten seconds for landing. Harris right again, way off. Eric Smith, yes! Five seconds to go! He's Kevin Lobo, a one-point lead, but Arkansas calling for time. So they now have one timeout remaining. They have difficulty in bounding. We are going to come back to that game at Pauley Pavilion, but we've got a one-point going on in Austin, Texas, so let us go back to Marv Albert and Bucky Waters. Thank you, Brian. Running down. Still having trouble getting out. U.S. 3 with the play. It's in! It's in! U.S. 3! Let's see. Do they say it counts? It's all over. Arkansas oh has defeated Lava. U.S. 3 hitting from half court. And it's a one point incredible victory. Player of the year. Taking it right at Morgan. Right at Raymar Morgan. 6.6 left. Raymond Green finds Lucius. To make absolutely certain. I don't know that I don't know that Tom Izzo and he is hugging Kaylin Lucas right now. I don't know that he understands what's going on. Now he did decide to put it on the deck with the ball fake, Mike. It should no, count. That's good, that's good. Michigan State advances to St. Louis. Meet me in St. Louis. Judy Garland couldn't see it. Except Let's go back to Washington State Friday. Abram hit two free throws, which put BC ahead for keeps. Uh, this one is the key one for Carolina. They've got the three-point shooters on the floor, McGinnis, and obviously Donald Williams. Carolina can tie with a three. in the corner and call the timeout with 7.6 on the clock. 7.6 to play. And they let it go and force it back out. Wallace with a three. Not the one that Dean Smith wanted to take the shot. BC is a winner. Our Keith Morris watching a helicopter. Three. That's Adam Cook. He's got eight. 
Moran, they got one timeout. Off of Northern Iowa. In there. Jake Cook to inbound. Stepped and on the line. stepped out of bounds. What defense by Marcus Morris. Uh, this is going to get the ball back. Northern Iowa is going to have to shoot it before the clock, shot clock runs out. Oh, hell of a oh my. Farouk Banesh, a three. Good! You can't be serious with that shot. Collins the other way. Tyrell Reed. <laughs> Offensive foul. They do. On the first day of spring, number one has fallen. And now Hill for three. Look at Reynolds. Reynolds. Look at Reynolds. Reynolds. Look, at Reynolds. Oh, look at Reynolds. Look out, folks. Yes. Oh, Jalen Reynolds. Mm, Jalen Reynolds wants that basketball. Half with three fouls. He's poking away from behind. Showalter doesn't have numbers, but he's going anyway. And Showalter finishes one on three. Down to seven. Sumner wants to take Hayes. Sumner up and under. And it goes. Edmund Sumner. To get going. On a second separating shot clock and game clock. Bronson Koenig ties it up. Here we go. Two to go. Trip to the Sweet 16. Katie's got it. Rises up. The shot. And it's good! It's good! Wisconsin has won it! Sixty-one fifty-nine. Xavier, 9.3 seconds away from advancing to the Sweet 16. And they send their senior to the line. Looking to ice this game. Justin Cage... Five of six from the three-point line this afternoon. He has 22 points. Amy Miller, Sean's wife, takes a deep breath. Ohio State still has time. They've got their four best three-point shooters in the game. And he missed it. Got to hurry. Connolly, five to go. Lewis has been awesome. Let's it go. It oh! He ties it at 62. Two seconds to go. Lavender, three-quarter court. And we're going to overtime in Lexington. Oh, my goodness. They had force a mismatch and not able to take advantage. Oh, oh he does, though. My goodness. Fan fleeing, saw it at midcourt. Here's Young, who hit the shot before the half. Followed oh. up by Randall. <laughs> Harrison, who hit that big bank shot from over there and is late going. Young with a three. <laughs> but they have to score. It's Baker. He'll put up the three. Oh, my and he goodness. says we can bank them home two. Screens. They get it in the Van Fleet. He's going to take the three for the win. No! And the perfect season has come to an end. The kids from Kentucky have banded together and are heading to the Sweet 16. No timeouts left. What are they doing? R.J. Hunter for three. Goal! Hunter has fallen off his stool for good reason. George is one point lead. McLean inbounding. Right corner to Miles. Finding space. Here's Thomas. One second. Got it at the buzzer. To end, he'll come. Leaves it for Rogers for three. For the win. Western Kentucky does it great. He needs it. Nicholas, the senior, with two seconds. Here it goes for the win. One timeout, they don't take it. He got it! Oh, he got the it! And the Wranglers are moving on! The Eagles come up with the steal. And the ball. Steal up high! And down hard on a sweet alley-oop! And making their 
Presence down here early in the second half. How are they going to weather? Oh, yeah. oh, 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 That's a screen. Comer winding up and slapping it down. McKnight climbing the ladder. Four assists for Comer. That baby rocking the rim. And climbs up for the dunk and a foul called on the play. And Comer takes it on the wing. Inside, not the way. And steps back up in his judging team. Saturday for Pete. Virginia from hitting that three. The problem is, it's tough to get your players to realize what the clock is and what the situation is. Air Bear, pit snuggle to tie. Oh, he hits it with five seconds left. Now it's Texas hurrying to the other end. Abrams, Paulino to win it. He rolls. Texas wins on a last second shot by Kenton Paulino. In the final 10 seconds, West Virginia brings them up. Punch behind Ostertown. Open. Robinson around Ostertown. Over him. Scott spins the other way. The ball for him. And Waddell leads the charge back. Three on two, four on two. Robinson. The man getting the hand is Matt Waddell out here at the top of the key. Well, big dog, don't cry. Just look up and get a piece of the pie. Matt knows where his bread is delivered. Send it in. From down low, up and in. That's Jeremy Eaton. One point game, Wright lost it. That's the guy and he traveled. traveled! He traveled! He traveled! Yes, he did! With 15.4 to go! Shot clock turned off. Calvary, Hall, eight to shoot. Hall, the runner! Loose ball! It's good! With 4.4 to go! Shannon! Don't want to foul! Shannon from the corner! For the third time, Freeman to break the tie. Play by Fenley from behind. Hamilton drops it in. Well, they got the two big guys in. They got to use them. Do a high low. Otherwise, it jams it up unless they pick and roll with the bounce. They go for Luton on a double. Donald Watts. That's for the lead. Oh, wow. Step it up. Nice. Washington leads for the first time in the game. Timeout, Connecticut. 20 seconds left. Setting the court for El Amin. Ten seconds remaining. El Amin off to Bosco. He was blessed. The shot wouldn't drop. Hamilton! No! Another two! No! Hamilton! Off the wins! Getting a good shot inside. Coverdale inside. He gets the bounce. His first field goal of the game, giving Indiana the lead. And Mike Krzyzewski telling his team, if he makes, get it up into the front court area and take a timeout. The star for Indiana off the bench has been Moye, a four-point game. Ewing fires the three. Not there. Williams looks for the three. Oh, he scores and he's fouled. A chance to tie. Unbelievable. The Duke Mad 
Leipzig trailing by four and 11 seconds to go. On a play like that to let Duke maybe back in. He misses the free throw. Boozer gets the rebound and tipped again. Rebounded by Indiana. The game is over. The Hoosiers with a major upset have defeated the number one team. Here he comes again. Kenny, this one will fall. Yep, that's what they were looking for. What certain guys go into the line, but it's this guy with the ball. Oh, look at that. Look at yes! this. Three-point game. Nigel Hayes. And Florida doesn't foul in these situations. They switch everything. Show Walter. Second differential. There's Nigel baseball. Hayes goes Look to this. the alley oop. Barry's back. Oh, what a ball. Ball. Oh, My goodness, what a play. Oh, nice drive for an easy one, Barry. Woohoo! Just closed. Chioza. will have exactly one second remaining in this ball game to try and pull off a miracle. Just one second left. Burrell takes the ball, looking inbound, loops it far up court for George, who catches it, turns around, shoots, and he got it! He hit it! He hit the shot! And the Huskies have won it! The Huskies have won it! George hits the shot from the right side of the lane! UConn wins it, 71-70. Pullen, stops, seven, lets it go, and buries it! Oh! Here comes Holloway, with the screen, oh, he's fouled! On the shot, and he's gonna shoot three! And he got it, Pullen in the front court, two to shoot! Oh! And we're heading for overtime. Traders in Holloway and Crawford. Holloway three. Oh, bam! He rattled it home. Holloway turns, flies. Oh, he buried it again. Clemente pulling, drives to the bucket. Got it. Holloway, 11 to go. Holloway kicks it out. Crawford eight. Crawford's got to hurry. Uh, oh, no! He tied it! Clemente! Clemente fires! And we're heading to double overtime! Hey, off the glass, no good, and that's it! Kansas State heads to the elite. Pendergraft, the inbounder on the baseline. And the only guy that you might think of fouling is Jeremy Pargo at 69%. They throw it to Morrison. He holds on. Well, you don't want to foul Morrison. You make him get it over half court. You know you got to foul. And oh. a steal! Farmer! Inside! The freshman up! Oh, and they go in front! Rivio! Last chance to dance over Unbelievable! Rabu oh, what a game! Unbelievable! What a game! Are you CLA? Unbelievable! Are you kidding me? After being down by 17, heartbreak city. You want to go after the ball like you're a quarterback. And the front court, Batista with the catch. And that's it. What a comeback. UCLA defeats Gonzaga 73-71 after being down by 17. George Mason, what are we going to do on a miss? How are we going to play them? Depending on how many he makes, will we give one? 8 of 13, leaving alive the possibility of a Rashad Anderson 3. And he and Tony Skin are back here having fun with each other. And also, Vern, you got to think it out. Will you give one and not give him the chance to make the 3 if he makes this one? Rebound, UConn. Denim Brown, three to go. Denim Brown, three, no good by George. The dream is alive.
Well, well Vern, you mentioned uh, no Grand Hill on this one. They ran out of room. They tried the home run and unfortunately ran out of ran, out, ran to the baseline. Cunningham just trying to save it or throw it off the defender. And what a tough situation now. How about the risk involved in making oh, that trying that play? Unbelievable. And I, the guards had to step and get free, give them a chance. No timeouts left. Fields for the tie with 5.5 remaining. We got plenty of room, or time, I should say, at least four seconds to get it up the floor. There are Reynolds. They got to put three seconds or three tenths or four tenths. They got to put three or four tenths up. And they're going to chew up. No, Harris head. Another steal. Luther head. The score, 111 to go. Williams takes it all the way for the easy two. Boy, what a smart play. He knew that Arizona did. Final minute. Luther head. He hits the three, and what a game by Luther Head. There was some question how well he could play because of that hamstring injury. Has he delivered? And Stoudemire trying to keep the ball because, oh, they don't call the foul, and Dee Brown gets two. Oh, my. 45 seconds left. Can they do it with time running out? There is all Ingram to bat the ball away. Williams could tie it with a three. He does. Oh! Go. McClellan, the freshman, way off the mark. Oh. Tried to throw the ball to Williams. Stoudemire, no foul. Adams counts as it goes. It's short. We go to overtime. Just a... 10 seconds. Shakur, 8 seconds. Gotta get Adams going. with three. He's got to hurry. Finally forced to shoot. And the ball game is over. Illinois in overtime advances to the final four. Delfrey, Pace Hill in, gets another one. Timeout, Kentucky. 7.8 seconds remaining. Woods. Oh my goodness. How did he get the shot off? There's the pass to Leitner. Puts it up. Yes! Fox. There he is. Block <laughs> outside. It's Penson. The quick draw instead goes over to Willis. Monk. He's going to take it. Oh, oh, wow. What a shot. Down the one. And Meeks again taking it out. Up ahead is Jackson. Take it off. Under the basket. Lays it in. One patience. Second of use time. Fox gives it up. Out of bio. Lost it. On the floor. Oh, Carolina it. has the arrow. They get a jump ball and the, as you said, the possession arrow. Give it. Let's see if it. Monk to tie it. Oh, oh, an impossible shot. And Malik Monk just big time shot. Two people hanging on with five. Looks up, driving in. May for the win. North oh! Carolina with point three seconds to go. An incredible shot. Team. Mismatch here, Pierce and Bibby. Not what Kansas wants. Bibby takes the shot. And put him up it. by five. Big mistake by Kansas in having Pierce on him. Thomas, can he do it again? Yes! It's down to two. Camping right up there, settling those knees down. Eyes riveted to the rim. Kansas will need a three Big to tie time. it. 
big time gut free throws there. Kansas has hit four straight three pointers. This one to tie it. Thomas. Long rebound, Vaughn gives it up to Robertson. Five seconds. LaFrance has to go outside for overtime. Arizona has pulled off the biggest upset of this tournament. A team that's playing with house money. Frankly, they weren't even supposed to be in this tournament. I mean, they've just been on a roll ever since they got in. 63-57, Virginia Commonwealth. We're down to two minutes to play. They're playing for a trip to Houston for the Final Four. Shot clock to three, two, one. Oh. And he scores. Once again, it's the combination of Rodriguez and Burgess who combined for the winning basket Friday night against Florida State. Knox, after that second round departure last year at the hands of Northern Iowa, it has been a remarkable performance once again by Virginia Commonwealth. Final seconds as we fires away in a stunner. The Rams of Virginia Commonwealth have made it to the final four, knocking off the number one seed, the Jayhawks of Curry, quick release again. And finally he knocks one down. That may get him going. It's a three. And Davidson takes a 12-9 lead. Curry again. This time Chalmers guards him. Puts it on the floor, to the bucket, left-hand scoop! Mm. To Kansas liking, Curry again. Bring it. Did I say Kansas liking? <laughs> it's only the second one, but on shots like that, when you give Curry another chance at the basket, you're going to pay. There's the runner inside for Curry, and he's really starting to get loose now. Ten points. Backdoor Curry got a good look. Uh, knocks it down. And he hits his first shot. Remember. Steph Curry. Curry lets it go. And buries it. Here's Curry. He may not give this up. Pick and roll. Curry. Six to go. Frees himself. Curry. Four to go. Pumps. Kicks it out. Richard. And it's over. Kansas. Dave Baker. Point for the line and he slams it. Alex Poitras and he was fouled. The strong move by the sophomore. That's what I'm talking about. Save that ball. I thought that ball was out of bounds for sure from our vantage point. Here goes Andrew Harrison. The lob. Poitras put it in. Wow. Andrew Harrison to Alex Poitras. And John Calipari's been talking all year about Alex Poitras catching those. Let's see if he hugs him here. Underneath, pitching it into the lane. Dakari off outside here to Aaron Harrison. He throws another one up. Aaron Harrison, he just had another shot to get the Cats a foul. One point lead at 74 73. Are you kidding me? Double A run. To the court, and here comes Trayvon Jackson. Clock down to three seconds. He'll have to put it up. He didn't get it. Kentucky's gone out of the championship game. What a tremendous win. The Wildcats at center corner celebrating Gossip again. To Decker. Booker on him. Get a foul on him. Decker spins. Yes, and a foul. Yes, it counts again. And it's on Here's Devin Booker. Here's Kaminsky. Booker. Hayes out front. Koenig to Jackson. Three. Bronson Koenig. I watched him at halftime at Wayne. He was in every shot. I have never seen a shooter. Take ten shots in a row, threes, knock down everything. Lyles against Art. Yes! yes! Offensive yes, foul! Sir. Trey Lyles, third, second offensive foul. 88 and done. They're going to knock off undefeated Kentucky. Oh, don't you feel bad for the Kentucky fans, Wayne? No. <laughs> Not even a little bit. Not even a little bit. Time winding down, Eulis for three, and that's it! For the first time since 1941, 74 years, the Wisconsin Badgers will play for the national championship! Like he's on vacation in the Bahamas or something. Mike Krzyzewski up on the sidelines. 20 seconds to go. Can Duke pull off one of the biggest upsets Hill's in got Final the, Four got history? The angle. Off the glass, no, he went for the swish. Leitner with the rebound. Foul. No basket. 
blank look of Jerry Tarkanian. Will his team rise to this challenge with 12 seconds to go? Jim, I think you're going to see the ball in the hands of two people. Anderson Hunt, Larry Johnson. And in the case of Duke, I would take the chance and say, don't try to grab a rebound, bat it long, because you can believe UNLV is going to send five men to the boards. Larry Johnson brings the ball up. Looks like he wants to go all the way with it. He's outside now, stopping his dribble. Leitner on him. Hunt will have to do something. Put the three. Three. Off the back of the long. Curly's got it. Duke has done it. Duke has upset UNLV. Transition opportunity. That's Lucius ripping the nets with another three. He has 11 on the game. Put in and out because of foul trouble. Howard, he's on the board. Went underneath. Scoring. Hits one of two at the line. Lob. Summers. That's beautiful execution. You see Norred. Lucius back on the floor. Lucius. Fortunate to get it back, but it's Beasley reaching in and throwing it down. Butler with its largest lead of the semifinal. Trying to post Green. Green outside, Hayward defending. Now at 10 seconds, in the paint, shot short, rebound, Norad. He's got to think about making the first and then trying to miss the second. He's got to shoot it so that it hits the rim and has some kind of bounce to it. Back of the rim, rebound, Hayward, and Butler wins it. Butler's going on to the national championship game. Walker trying to check Kilpatrick, and he gets the steal. Kemba Moore, two. Back to Roscoe for the jam. Well, and they had a bigger cover on... Uh... Nice. Walker, even nicer in the title. And then this run that they're currently on, they've won their last seven in 12 days. Jeez. And that's... He, cl he closes the switch, Burn. Walker, fade away. Oh, goodness! How about that step back? Dang it! Walker. He takes it inside and draws the foul. He's heading to the line. Walker over Van Zandt. And Walker comes out with a big first shot of the second half. And with Han defending, bounce pass. Walker oh, lays it up and it goes! It's time to tear down the nets, and we'll see us shortly for one shining moment. The Huskies are the national champions. Greg Gumbel, back to you. Rose, three. He's warming up. Look out. But again, it's Rose. Pull-up shot, and he's good again. Again, he's keeping the ball in his hands now, becoming difficult to guard. He's with five on the shot clock. He's got Jackson on him. He's going to step back, take the three. Chasing it down, it's Dozier. They get a new 35. Rose in the lane, and yes! Hot clock. Rose. Got to get the shot up quick. Over Jackson. Banks! Oh. Oh. There, out of the tournament. Chalmers. Had to give it up. Arthur, way up. Hits a sweet shot. Out here, you probably want to put Taggart on the line. Collins with the steal. He got it over to Chalmers. Back out. Big three. Hits the shot, we're down to four. Season, then they started to concentrate, but they didn't have to concentrate under pressure. This is a big deal right here for this freshman. Kansas just used its timeout. He backed off as well. Wow. That one. Kansas that one. has made only two threes on the night. They must make one here to extend the game. Collins driving, almost lost the handle. Chalmers for the tie. Got it! For two it. seconds. Unbelievable. Dozier for the championship. No, we're going to overtime. It's Make a bucket. That was a block by Shire. Hayward behind the back, gives it up to Howard, and it bounces in. That pull up three. You don't need it now, though. It doesn't have to be a three now. Let's get a good shot. That's a good shot right there. Howard again on the inside. Hits down to one. Involved in maybe screening and catching the pass. Well, there it is. Out to Hayward. Singward defending. Ten seconds to go. He wants to drive. Behind the back. On the baseline. Fade away. Shot. Off the rim into Zubak's hands. 3.6 seconds. Well done. Butler has no timeouts. So they would hope that Zubek makes this. 
Not going to try. It's Hayward pulling it down. Getting around Zubat. At midcourt, launches the shot. Oh, and almost went in. Almost went in. And Duke is the king of the dance. Michigan will have to bring it. Oh, he in. walked. He, he walked in. The referee missed it. Weber brings it into the front court. They have no timeouts remaining. Oh, he causes he too many timeouts. That's a technical foul. He called a timeout. Michigan doesn't yes. have any. He got by with a walk, and Jimmy calls a technical. He, he calls a timeout. He doesn't realize that's Michigan's too many. And so it'll be a technical foul, North Carolina shooting, and the ball. A huge mental mistake. Weber thought they had a timeout in their pocket. <laughs> Dean Smith, eight seconds away from a second national championship. The Fab Five comes up short again. There you have it. North Carolina is the 1993 national champion. Next hell ball would go to Georgetown. Is Jordan on the oh, What a layup! He put that ball up about 12 feet. Smith, they don't want him shooting. He's not that good a shooter from outside. Ewing's going to try it. He oh, got it. And it's a one-point ball game with two and a half minutes to go. 23 points for Pat Ewing. He saw him. I think he's sleepy before he's going to go for the jumper. Is he ever? Fake beautifully once, twice, gets a roll, and the Hoyas lead by one. What a play by Sleepy Floyd. Time. Gordy to Black. The time, 18. Shot, Jordan! Michael Jordan, 14 seconds. Here Brown. Look for, look for Sleepy Floyd. Look. Oh, he threw it to the wrong man! He threw it to Worthy! It's over! It's over! He's fouled by Eric Smith. Fred Brown, somehow or another, threw the ball into the hands of James Worthy. Williams, Wingate. Jensen almost got the ball, but even better yet, he went and knocked it out of bounds so Georgetown couldn't keep it going. Got to waste some time now just to go ahead and get her in. Jensen. Wingate comes back, regains possession for the Hoyas. He drives inside for the layup. No timeouts left. to get the ball in bounds. No, 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 no. Jackson, and there are just five seconds Game's left. Over. There will be no dynasty. Villanova has done it. That's it. Villanova has done it. Under eight minutes to play. Custer! And now it's a heavyweight fight. Over twice. So it's pretty near flawless the way these guys are handling it. Great execution. Look at that. The timeout. Shot clock down to 10. Here comes Newton in the corner. Inside the Hewitt. He's going glass. Here's Williamson holding. We come up on the final 60 seconds. Custer from deep. Splash. We are tied at 60. Newton holding. Shot clock down to 6. Newton, long two, and he sticks it. First free throws today. Mm. Missed it. Here they Five come. Left. One time out, they don't take it. Oh, he got it. Oh, he got it. Oh, the it. And the Ramblers are moving on. Three. Since 2014, Williams is there. Well, Chicago has to make some hay right now with the opportunity with Schofield on the bench. Crowing, look at the big fella. Frontwick wants to take Williams. Working around the horn. Ingram, get it! Tennessee with their highest seeding in nearly a decade in the tournament. Down two. Williams right to the rim. And, and he is fouled. Or to go to overtime. First lead for Tennessee since there was only 6-19 left in the first half. Inbound to Custer. Here comes the player of the year. The NBC rises. Oh, and he's it. No timeouts 
Bones for Tennessee. Bone rises now. And the dream is alive. Loyola rambling on to the Sweet 16. Bobby Knight switch men. Thomas tried to draw the foul. Trish gets it to fall. And inside of a minute, Syracuse leads. That ball. And he decided to put Douglas on offer. And they go man to man. Smart takes the shot. And the Hoosiers with three seconds. Go ahead. Nobody stopped it. Nobody on Coleman. Here it goes. Indiana wins the championship. Keith Smart is the hero. Oh, Nicks. Rebound Johnson. Magic Johnson with the ball. Oh, oh he oh, scores. And he has fouled. On the ball until he gets into the offensive end of the court. Johnson, Robert oh. Kelser scores. The state call, uh, scores here. Indiana has to call a timeout. And Magic Johnson hangs. Left to go for the half. Kelser off to Johnson, wide open. Bird. Oh, what a shoot. He can play guard and play forward. Bird inside the score. Extended to take the foul line all the way to the side of the court. Here's the foul. Bird tips oh. it in. Larry Big players are not hitting that perimeter shot. Oh, Bird. Oh. Great play by Bird. Oh. Bird and he saves it. Bird. Point lead for Arizona with a minute to play. Go for two here. Try to get Mercer in the action on a rub. Here he comes. Mercer three. Got it. Down the one. But decisions must be going through the freshman's mind. He starts the dribble at eight. Now drives in. Dishes. Davison banks it home. That was a bad matchup for Kentucky. Kentucky needs a three to tie. Epps fires it. Got it. Here comes Simon and Bibby now. Going to try to attack the press. Simon drives. Simon shoots. No call. Padgett with the rebound. Terry with a steal. Not a time. They ruled off the shot. We're going to overtime. Who else but Simon? No foul! No foul! They're not going to foul him. It's only right. The ball's in his hands. A milestone victory for Arizona. Simon says championship. And he'll take Rice down on the inside. Now, down toward five seconds on the shot clock. Seton Hall will have to hurry. Morton will go one on one, up high, short. Michigan's ball. They've got an opportunity here now to win it. They've got to hurry. Five seconds. Robinson goes in. Foul. foul call with three seconds. A foul against Seton Hall with three seconds. Four so that they go with a long pass here. Let's see what happens on the free throw. Michigan leads it. And here they come. Makes it tough to throw the line drive pass. Starts when touched. Long pass, Walker and Green battle. Walker fires up. It's over. Michigan has won a national championship. And for the third time in the last eight games, it has been decided by one point. The Wolverines win an NCAA title over Seton Hall, a tough opponent all the way. He's crawled back into it, a 10-3 stretch. Got it down low. Johnson makes it home, and it's down to one. I think we got a quick five for Johnson inside. Cage goes ahead and takes it inside, and it somehow rattles out. Carolina fights for it and gets the putback. Boy, Hart had it and couldn't lock the deal up. It's Barry, who had the hot hand from three in the first half. They're going to have to do something from the outside now. It's Page off balance. Puts it up. with Archie Diakono. Three seconds at mid-court. Jenkins gives it to Jenkins for the championship. Yes! The national champions with Jenkins hitting the winner at the buzzer. Jim, they're going to check it. Game on 
Bailey, who is Drexler guard. Drexler's staying inside. Looks like he might be on Charles. Oh, dangerous pass. No, it's the half-court trap that Houston's using. Now, Jim Valvano might not have anticipated this, so he'd probably call that timeout if a player gets in trouble. He has these three guards in there now as Gannon's in there with Wittenberg and Lowe. Down to 25 seconds. Dangerous pass. This is a really interesting strategy by Houston. They're aggressive now. Not staying back. Well, remember they have a team in there for, to block anything that goes inside. Down to 14 seconds. Oh, almost stolen by Drexler. They, Boy, is he good at they've that. They've got to drive to the basket. It's down to seven seconds. You can see the time. Wittenberg. Oh, it's a long ways. Oh! 